Hey everyone, this video is all about the new Sonos Beam Gen 2 soundbar. Now when the first Sonos soundbar called the Play Bar was released in 2013, it totally shocked the home theater world with its sound quality, access to music, and ease of use. Sonos as a company prides itself on making great sounding, simple to use products that are built to last. One thing I really appreciate is how they are completely upgradable through software updates as technology improves. Sonos is constantly innovating, so today we're gonna dive right into the newly updated soundbar from Sonos. So let's get started. All right, now, when the Play Bar first came out, it had a really unique feature at the time of being able to learn the remote control codes of your TV, enabling you to simply use the remote supplied with your TV to control its volume and mute while you would access all of the great streaming music functions and set up options with their app. And we would be remiss if we did not point out that the Sonos app is just flat out one of the best ones out there for controlling your music. Another great feature of the Sonos ecosystem is you can add components and group them together. This enabled that first play bar to become part of a whole house music system and be grouped with other zones. It was truly revolutionary for its time. Sonos later introduced a wireless subwoofer you could pair with some of their products. Then they released their revolutionary room tuning software called TruePlay, which with an iPhone, it allowed anyone to simply walk around the room while test tones were playing, and the app then made acoustic corrections to remove room problems. In most cases, this greatly improved the audio. Now, as you might imagine, the way Sonos thinks about future-proofing their products makes us big fans at Audio Advice. After the release of the Play Bar, Sonos brought out the Playbase and then the Beam. The Beam quickly became the best-selling soundbar in the US in the 350 to 500 price range for its wonderful sound, ease of use, and great form factor. The Arc was the first Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar from Sonos and was an instant hit. If you wanna find out more about the benefits of Dolby Atmos, go check out our video or article on Dolby Atmos. Now, since the Beam was introduced in 2018, we thought Sonos might come out with an updated version soon, and we are happy to announce the arrival of the new Beam Gen 2. It has a host of feature enhancements, but most importantly, Dolby Atmos compatibility. The Beam Gen 2 is a compact and beautiful soundbar designed to greatly enhance your TV sound. It can be positioned under your TV on the same cabinet or wall mounted. It is only about two and three quarter inches tall by four inches deep and just over 25 and a half inches wide, making it able to easily fit into most environments. Like the original Beam, the Beam Gen 2 has full voice control, Apple AirPlay 2, and the great Sonos app. It continues the nice capacitive touch controls on top for basic functions and an easy way to turn off the microphone with one button for privacy. Two other great features you can access through the app also continue. Night sound softens the dynamics and bass output. Voice enhance will make dialogue easier to understand on some content. Plus, you have tone controls through the app as well. Now, when Sonos developed the Arc, they came up with a new way to perforate the grill for better sound and appearance. This same type of grill is on the new Beam Gen 2, like the original Beam though. The Beam Gen 2 is available in a matte black or matte white finish. The connection for your TV is upgraded to eARC. HDMI eARC unlocks a much higher bandwidth to support uncompressed audio formats like Dolby Atmos, DD+, True HD, and more. DTS fans will be happy to know a November 21st update will add DTS to this. Your TV will also need an eARC connector to get uncompressed Dolby Atmos. However, if it is an older ARC connection, you will still get Dolby Atmos, but it will be compressed. For even older generation TVs that only have an optical output, Sonos includes an optical to HDMI adapter. Now, setting up the Beam Gen 2 is even easier now as you just need to hold your smartphone near it to transfer your wireless network credentials. The Beam Gen 2 has the same number of speaker drivers and amplifiers as the original, 
but Sonos has upgraded the processor to a much more powerful version that enables them to change the way the five channel phased array of drivers operate. This new technology is what allowed them to deliver amazing multi-dimensional Dolby Atmos. With Dolby Atmos, you can hear raindrops falling on your head or an insect buzzing all around the room. It is pretty incredible. We were lucky enough to get a Beam Gen 2 for early testing and put it through its paces to see how it would perform in delivering not only immersive Dolby Atmos, but also how it enhanced normal TV viewing too. Now, we decided it would be fun to test the Beam Gen 2 in the same room where we tested the Sonos Arc. The Arc really impressed us with its ability to throw out an immersive Dolby Atmos soundstage with 11 drivers it should. So we were very curious to see how the Beam Gen 2 would pull off Dolby Atmos with just five active drivers. Setting up the Beam Gen 2 was a snap as the new method of holding your smartphone close to it was very simple. Just remember when the app is asking you to scan the area of the Beam Gen 2 that is to the left of center, that your camera on your phone is typically not centered. This got us the first try, but once we realized that, we were good. Now, when we connected the HDMI cable to the eARC port on our TV, the Sony TV even recognized we had connected a compatible device and auto set up everything. We then ran Sonus TruePlay to tune the Bean Gen 2 to the room we tested in. This room, for reference, had nine foot tall ceilings and is about 12 feet wide by 16 feet deep, a typical family room. Being the hardcore home theater enthusiasts that we are, for this audition, we had to remember the Bean Gen 2 is all about someone improving the sound of their built-in TV speakers. It is certainly not made to be the best home theater experience out there. When you look at it from that context, you can see why the original Beam was such a great seller. To set a reference point, we first played some of our test scenes on just the TV speakers first which in this case was a better than normal TV as we used a Sony OLED where the entire screen is an active audio surface. For fun, we used some of the exact same scenes we had used when we were testing the ARC. These were scenes from Night on Earth, Stranger Things, and The Irishman. Plus, we tried Away and Midnight Sky. In all cases, the thing that impressed us the most about the Beam Gen 2 is how well it does on dialogue. We felt it produced as good, if not better dialogue than the ARC. Voices had a rich, full sound, which really surprised us considering the size of the Beam Gen 2. This is the part that by itself makes the Beam Gen 2 worth the price of admission over TV speakers. You'll be able to understand the dialogue far better, and it will sound much more realistic. Now, bass effects will also be more impactful and far deeper than your TV speakers, although the Beam Gen 2, like the original Beam and the Arc, is limited on the bass it can produce. Adding the Sonos Sub will make a huge difference in bass performance here. We played the scene from The Irishman, which is about five minutes into the movie. Here, there's a couple in a car, then the scene flips to an outside clip. The Beam Gen 2 did a great job of producing dialogue inside the car, as good and maybe even better to us than the Arc. However, when the outside scene came on, you did get some sense of space, but it was nothing like the Arc in putting the insects directly above our heads. Next, we tried the episode Jungle Nights from Night on Earth. At about three minutes and 30 seconds in, you should be able to feel like you are surrounded by night sounds in the jungle. Again, the arc amazed us here, but the Beam Gen 2 gave some sense of space, but was far short of the arc. Midnight Sky has an intro scene with George Clooney walking into an empty cafeteria. Now, we had not tried this on the arc, but the Beam Gen 2 did a great job here of letting you hear the echo of his footsteps as he enters the room and sits down. As he ate, you could also sense the sound of his utensils echoing in the room. Now, our analysis is the Beam Gen 2 does just a fantastic job on voices and sounds within the vocal region. It lets you hear very subtle changes in volume in the performer's voices, which does greatly enhance the experience. But the ARC is much better at giving you immersive Dolby Atmos. And it should be, as it's almost twice as expensive as the Beam Gen 2. The audio quality of the Bean Gym 2 is astounding for what it sells for. For those of you making your first step up from built-in TV speakers to something better, it is a wonderful choice. 
If you want a soundbar and want immersive Dolby Atmos, then we suggest you save up for the Sonos Arc. The Arc with the Sonos Sub is just an incredible soundbar system that is super simple to get great performance from. Or if you want even better, separate audio components will take you to a whole other level. Our team can help you design a great system with our free home theater designer tool. Now, if music is as important or more so than TV movie sound and you want to stay around the same price range of the Beam Gen 2 or even the Arc, consider a Sonos amp with a great pair of bookshelf speakers. The amp has an Arc connection for the convenience of the TV remote controlling its volume and you can couple it with a pair of speakers that will sound far better for music. Or some of the better powered speakers like the Fives from Klipsch are a great option too. But if you simply want better sound quality than your TV speakers provide and you want to stay in the same price range of the Beam Gen 2, we have not heard a sound art that does a better job at getting the all important dialogue right at anywhere near this price point. All right, that completes our review of the Beam Gen 2. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also check out our playlist section on our YouTube channel to easily find all the content you're looking for. Thanks for watching this and we'll see you next time.